All right, so we're walking up a, a road that is built into the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. And um, behind me, you can see the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon right over there. And uh, let's get a better look at it. Pretty incredible structure. The second tallest documented pyramid in the world. When I say documented, I mean that there may be other pyramids that are taller. Uh, but this is the second tallest documented pyramid in the world. And when I say second, I mean that it's, it's second only to the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, which is the tallest documented pyramid in the world, which we're standing on right now. You can't see the pyramid though, because we're on it. It's so big, it's a mountain. It's essentially a mountain. But I wanted to show you this today. Now, <clears throat> this is, please note, that's the valley there with the road going through going basically south. And to the uh, Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon is there, Temple of Mother Earth, which curves concavely right there. And then to the right of that is the valley and the, and this, the road goes through. So this road goes to the, this road is at the, sort of at the near the bottom of the Pyramid of the Sun. So on the right, this whole area here is the Pyramid of the Sun, it goes up, but you can't, you can't see the top of the pyramid or the shape of it because it's so big. And as we come up this road, which was essentially a, a nice excavation, it was a, instead of having to bring volunteers out here from hundreds of countries, which, which uh, the foundation in charge of excavation here in, in Visoko has done in, since 2010. Uh, it's been 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, five years of volunteers coming out here in the warmer months for three and a half to four months to, to excavate uh, both the tunnels below the pyramid complex and the pyramids themselves. Instead of having the volunteers come out and do this, someone built a road here so we have excavation. So check this out. What's the first thing we see? Well, the first thing we see is clay. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of clay. Then we see this interesting rock and we're like, hey, there's millions of rocks that are natural that we can't say that's a construction stone rock, right? Well, then we come up here. Same angle. <clears throat> and then, same angle. And I'm gonna show you some other stuff too. Same angle. So it's angled kind of down and it's also angled in. In other words, it's not just angled to the right. Let me just see if I can do this with my hand. It's not just angled that way. It's also angled into the, sloping in, so actually it's this way a little. So it's sort of in to the slope a little bit. Um, so it's pretty interesting. And the other thing we can note is that between these rock layers is, guess what? Always the same, clay. Rock layer, clay. Rock layer, clay. Rock layer, always the same. Where are you gonna find that in nature? Nowhere. You're not gonna find you're gonna find rock layers that are parallel to each other all over the planet, naturally, but you're not gonna find rock, clay, rock, clay, rock, clay. And that's what we have, rock, clay. Rock, clay. And by the way, these rocks, almost certainly, they haven't been uh, tested yet, but these are almost certainly uh, constructed artificially constructed stones. So they're constructed construction stones. Probably heated up clay. That's probably heated up clay right there. They heated up to some, some degree and th we know that 900 degrees Fahrenheit is the, is the, is the uh, number for the concrete on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. And we have most of the pyramid covered with concrete, many layers of concrete, the most durable, hardest, and most water resistant concrete ever tested, ancient or modern, here on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Incredible, uh, it goes up to 133 megapascals. Modern cement goes up to 60 megapascals, that's the hardness rating. And it's a 1% water absorption rating in this concrete on this Pyramid of the Sun right here. Modern concrete is at best 3% water absorption, which means that you, the lower your water absorption, the better, because then it won't, the water doesn't get in in the winter and, and, and then freeze and then crack it. So a really low water percentage, like 1%, which is what the, the ancient's concrete on this friggin' pyramid is, really good. That's why it's lasted 
an estimated 34,000 years. But check this out. <clears throat> Let's just keep looking at these stones. These cons probably constructed, constructed stones, probably artificial stones artificially laid. Not natural. This is just uh, some little road that goes up, up the pyramid. No one's ever uh, looked at this as an excavation site. But Semir Osman, I guess, who discovered the Bosnian pyramids in April 2005, and I were driving down this road, uh, I don't know, two and a half months ago. Uh, this is February 17th, 2015. And uh, something like that it was about two, two and a half months ago. And I said, uh, oh, by the way, you know about these these stones, right? Because I've been up and down this walking and it's, it's you know, you have time to look. Um, and he said, yes, but, <coughs> but of course, uh, this is not an official excavation site. I mean, he knows this is, he, he knows this is a constructed pyramid right here. So he doesn't have to even have this evidence. Um, he knows it's constructed. The question is, what, what did they construct it of in any particular place on the pyramid? Because there, there are differences, even in the concrete. There's different kinds of concrete every 30 or 40 or 50 meters as you, that we've excavated so far. So it's pretty interesting. When I say kinds of concrete, I mean uh, styles of slabs of concrete. And some slabs are a lot thicker, and some slabs are, are smaller. And then if they're thick, there's, there's not as many layers, and if they're thinner, there's more layers. So it's not just one layer of concrete covering the, the, the biggest pyramid in the world, documented pyramid in the world, it's many layers of concrete. And if it's, if it's three layers or four layers, they're, they're thin. But if there's only two layers, they're really thick, and they'll come up to almost to your hip bone. So uh, uh, on, on me, I'm 6'2". That's uh, six feet two inches. So that hill over there, interestingly, is said by Dr. Semir Osmanagic to be the place where they got the clay for all the pyramids. He says that's basically a clay quarry there. So right across the river, there's a river just, across, just on the other side of that road called the River Foynitsa. And uh, that winds through here. It's a very placid river. A lot of water goes through though. Uh, it's pretty flat here. Um, so it's not like rushing rapids or anything. I think that's probably what, why they built here because they didn't have a river that was going to start undercutting their pyramids. You know, it's just kind of mellowly going along. Or they decided to make, make it flat. They've, they've done a lot of terraforming over here. Um, there's something called Kula Hill uh, to the north uh, of the Pyramid of the Sun that's clearly terraformed. And I'm going to make a long video about that. I've already done some, some videos about that. Um, and they have these ridges all over the, the hill. And the ridges mimic the ridges on the Pyramid of the Sun. You can't see them too well. Maybe I'll put some uh, photos in right now to show you those ridges. And they also mimic the ridges on the Pyramid of the Moon. And I'll put some photos in to show you those ridges. Um, so why they're making ridges, why they're building hills with ridges, we don't know. These trees are planted artificially. And I noted that in another video, these green, these evergreens, they're planted artificially. And, and uh, they're sort of on the ridges. There's some ridges on this pyramid, huge. And they plant on and not in the ridge, not, not in the crevices between the ridges. So you can sort of see the artificial nature of it. And all the trees are the same size and all of this. Um, but let me just check my camera real quick. Okay. Um, and you can see in the Pyramid of Love, which is the, the smaller pyramid next to the Pyramid of the Sun, so, uh, south of it, that, there, that what's on there is not evergreens. It's not, and that, so the government has not planted anything on that pyramid, and, and what naturally grows there is just these kind of scrubby trees and vegetation. There's nothing green on that pyramid. But on this one, occasionally there's patches of green, and that's all government trees. So, uh... And the reason there that uh, the trees aren't growing in the Pyramid of the Sun, uh, naturally, that they didn't grow there naturally, is because uh, of the concrete. And, and I've done another video on that showing how the tree roots, uh, there are, were a couple of trees that got in between, in cracks between the slabs of concrete. And those tree roots 
most of them just as soon as they hit the uh, concrete they go sideways so uh, they can't really get a good foothold so they can't propagate that's why they don't grow up there naturally now what's going to happen is there's going to be a windstorm that comes along and knocks down all those trees in one day hi um, so uh, that's gonna that's what's that that's government you know intervention for you they, they come and they also have us putting wooden posts up in Ravne well Ravne is an ancient tunnel it's probably 34,000 years old too a lot because that's the estimated date of the pyramids here uh, based on carbon dating of material found in the car uh, in the Bosnian pyramid of the Sun <clears throat> and we're assuming that the tunnels below the pyramid complex were built at the same time so they, they the tunnels have been around for 34,000 years but the government here says, oh, uh, the tunnels might not be safe and we have to make sure that you put wooden supports in there. It's like, really? You, you think you're smarter than the ancients? I mean, of course, they don't think necessarily that, there, that it was an ancient tunnel, even though it is. And there's tons of megaliths with, with pre-runic uh, pre hieroglyphics on them in the, in the tunnel that are still there. Ceramic megaliths, not natural stone, but created stone. Um, and many institutes have sh have signed off on that. So it is an ancient prehistoric tunnel. The question is, how old is it? Probably 34,000 years old, approximately. And so the government says, let's put wooden support posts in there. Just like they say, let's build some, let's put some, let's plant some trees on the pyramid of the sun, and all those trees are going to come down. Uh, the, the the Chinese government has planted. How many trees would it, would it be? I don't know, 10,000 trees on pyramids in China to try to hide them. But the problem is, is that from space or, or f just from aerial photography, you can see the pattern of the trees on the pyramid. So it just looks like a pyramid with trees on it. It doesn't look like a forest, a natural forest where trees are growing in their own way, in their own beautiful way. It's just like a grid of trees. And it's like, you're yeah, not hiding anything. We still see the pyramid and we see the trees of the grid of trees on the pyramid. Now, I don't know if the Bosnian government was trying to hide anything. Who knows what the government's trying to do, you know? We do know that they have put many restrictions on the uh, excavation of this pyramid, Pyramid of the Sun. Uh, I think up to a hundred now over the, over the 10 years since the discovery of the pyramids in, in April 2005. I think there's about or over a hundred restrictions, uh, legal, you know, laws that say you cannot dig here, you cannot dig there and, um, on this pyramid. Uh, and they, so instead of helping uh, the foundation to find out about human history, the government is, is hindering it in, in every possible way, in every way it can possibly find it will, is trying to hinder it. And they're using as an excuse this little castle up there called Stadigrad, which means old town. It's not old <laughs> compared to the pyramid. Uh, the castle is like crumbled hundreds of years ago and it was, and it was only recently been built up. After Semir discovered the pyramids, then the government said, we're going to build up old town. We're going to build up, we're not going to help you excavate the pyramid. We're going to build up Old Town, this little tiny castle on top of this monstrous pyramid. So that then we can say we need to protect Old Town and not let you excavate on the, on the pyramid. Now the pyramids may be, you know, uh, in size, in diameter is probably like 500 times bigger than the Stadigrad in diameter. But they're protecting the entire pyramid uh, from excavation because of this tiny little castle up there, as if we're going to hurt the castle by digging 80 or 100 or 400 meters from it. It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, and they're even now claiming that the concrete on the Pyramid of the Sun is part of the Starry Grad uh, complex. Really. The hardest documented concrete ever tested is part of this crappy, uh, sorry, uh, compared to the ancients' work, this is a crappy construction. This crap, crappily constructed uh, old town up there, I mean, there was just virtually nothing left of it until uh, uh, the government here in Bosnia, in Visoko, uh, built up the wall of it. So it's, it's, it's a modern renovation, and it's still only a wall. It's not like there's a castle up there. It's just, it's just a, a wall that winds around. That's it. Uh, and so that thing crumbled, that thing came down, the pyramid's still here. The government's always creating problems, it doesn't create solutions. It redistributes wealth 
and then tells you that the wealth it stole from you is a gift from the government. Really, thanks a lot. Uh, okay, let's end on the silhouette of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, so big that it looks like a mountain. And that's what it was thought to be. Well, or a, a large hill for many centuries. And there's the Pyramid of Love. Let me just get a photo. It's just a beautiful, a beautiful photo opportunity there. I'll get a, get a little bit closer to the Pyramid of Love. Got the nice lighted houses there and Pyramid of Love? What a great idea to name a pyramid the Pyramid of Love. Yes. Well played, sir. Well played. Pyramid of the Sun, because it reminded him of the Pyramid of the Sun at, at Teotihuacan in Mexico. Before and after excavation. It'll show you just how similar these pyramids are to that, because the, all that vegetation that's on the pyramids can come off. And then you have a clearly constructed structure below. So, that's kind of a nice shot too. Uh, let me get down here and see if I can, yeah. All right, so this is Jock Doubleday. I don't want to waste any more time because I'm just taking photos now. Uh, uh, reporting from the, the Bosnian pyramid complex that Robert Schock says doesn't exist. And, and that his friends uh, are supporting him on because, with silence, because they don't want to embarrass him, is my speculation. But the people he's working with, the people he's writing books with, and uh, the people who have supported him and call him his friend, call him their friends, uh, throughout the years, these people uh, are trying to de disrupt ancient history. They're trying to disrupt our knowledge of our own past. It's really, really bad. We need to find out who we are. This is Jacques Doubleday signing off. Have a scientific day.